Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings and mercy of, of God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon you. And um, just wanted to give you a brief reminder of what this life is. It is a brief life that we are in presently, um, this life on this earth and contemplating our end uh, is very important. Now, when you think of it, there was a wise man I once met that said there was a people who came to buy the land from the original people that lived here. And they brought paper money with them and held out the paper money to the man, the elder, and said, we wish to buy your land. And the elder, who had no real concept of ownership of land, the land was to be shared amongst the people, he took a paper money and he actually lit it on fire. And he said, as he took a scoopful of his land, of the land that they were walking on, and he put it over the fire and it extinguished the fire, he said, which has more value, your money or or the land? And we can see now that the land has the value, the money, uh, the monetary system as it collapses, the only value truly intrinsically is what is in the land, the ability to feed ourselves. Uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said that there are three things that are shared amongst the people. He said the grazing land, the fuel, and the water. That these things should be shared amongst all the people. If you could only imagine if the money that the oil companies are getting for extracting this blood of the land that we walk over, if this was only distributed amongst the people that walk over the land, there would really be no poverty left in the world. The oil companies are getting richer and richer, uh, and the profits are record, uh, record profits, but yet the oil prices are going up for the, uh, the average consumer as we sweat and work, and we're paid in paper money, which if you don't spend that paper money today, in 20 years, that day's work that you had just done and you received that paper money, in 20 years' time, it's not worth anything. So that work and sweat that you sweated uh, and worked all day to obtain that, that, that piece of money is worth nothing. So this wise man was saying this earth is what's worth, uh, has intrinsic worth. Now you think of it, all the desires we have of this earth, earthly world, the cars, the the uh, the machines, the, the the gold, everything we want of this earth, uh, and this life that we live in, the bling bling, the the music, the videos to live this lifestyle of consumption, and to find that our internal peace and self esteem in conjunction with this material 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 world is erroneous, because. As like the, the earth will, will squash the flames of the money, uh, the earth will also at one time squash all of the desires of the heart because that which you walk over every day, that earth which you stamp over with your feet is your grave. That's where you're going. So every bit of your earthly desires that you feed and you, you feed the fire of your desire through earthly means, through obtaining material wealth, it will leave you high and dry one day as you sink beneath the ground and you're covered up with this earth. So Islam teaches us that we must find a balance between this physical world and our spiritual world. We have to put aside five times a day our daily prayers to pray to the Creator and don't get too tied up in this physical world. If you have wealth, Allah has given you wealth, then use it to benefit humanity. Use it in a way that is constructive and use it, but don't fall in love with it. Don't fall in love with it because it's going to leave you. Don't fall in love with anything that will eventually leave you and not even come to the grave with you. Your wife, your children, they will come to the grave with you. They will reach the edge of your grave site with you. But they won't even go in. Only your Creator who loves you, has created you, uh, He can sustain you also in the next life.
not your car, not the BMW, not the US dollar, uh, not your position. It won't matter. It's all going to go just like the earth will take care of the fire, fires of the desire of the heart. That's where we're all going. So put your trust in the creator of all things and don't fall in love with the uh, material desires that we have with our heart. Find your middle ground. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.